People often ask me, why did I become a yoga teacher in midlife? And the answer is pretty simple. I practiced yoga on and off my whole life and felt completely frustrated, often comparing myself to others in the class, not being able to hold a pose or contort my body into a pose. And the truth is every body is different and not every body can hold or do a pose. I became a gentle yoga teacher so that my students can experience the sensations, the stretching, um, and embody the spirit of yoga in a pose that feels right for them. When my students are in class, I offer modifications, I check alignment, I make sure that they feel good in their body, that they're compassionate towards themselves that they don't judge themselves based on others. And that's truly the Kapralu style of gentle yoga. We're bombarded day in and day out with chaos, the chaos in the world, technology, stuff coming at us from all different directions. And what I find with yoga is it's a whole mind, body, spirit transformation and healing because you're allowing yourself one hour of self-care to take care of yourself, your mind, your heart, your spirit, and whatever you learn, whatever you feel on the mat in that class, you can take into your daily life. And basically the world becomes a better place, one person at a time. And I'm really excited to bring it, my style of yoga, to Studio 310. Hi, my name's Kayla. The biggest reason I became a personal trainer is because I love the process of helping people and being involved in their journey. I started getting into training because I wanted to help um, people like me um, and I just love helping people in the first place especially with Pound which is my first class I ever taught um, I just fell in love with it and I wanted to spread it out to other people turn up I started because I just love dancing and I love seeing people smile so that's how I got into that one. When I was at my heaviest, I went to a weight loss class with my mom. A trainer showed up and she's like, I teach pounds. And I'm like, ooh, ma, let's go try it out. So we went to her class and from the very first class, the moment I walked in, I loved it. I focused on being healthy, feeling better about myself and that's what i want to teach people how to focus on instead of just focus on all right i have to lose this amount of pounds i can't eat this i can't eat that and that's not what it's all about it's a journey for your whole life it's not just lose the weight and that's it it's a lifestyle I would say that the reason why I got into fitness is because on a daily basis, I like to create an environment for myself that is both uncomfortable and comfortable. And what I mean by that is I like to challenge myself mentally and physically every day while still making it part of my daily routine, still making it a habit. Um, so Zumba was a way for me to challenge myself physically and mentally by making up choreography while also challenging my body in a way that I was doing something that I really enjoyed. And um, I have fun while I do it. I have fun watching others do it. I have fun teaching and being able to share that joy and create that environment for other people. And that's why I got into Zumba. Zumba has improved my life in many ways. I physically, of course, there are so many physical benefits in cardio, strength, mentally, because it's a workout I really enjoy. So I know it's difficult to get yourself to work out sometimes, but this is the type of workout that I know I'm going to be happy that I went, happy that I did it, and it's easier to get myself on that dance floor. On top of that, I, while teaching it, I have a really good time dancing with other people, um, watching everybody else enjoy it, seeing the smile on people's faces, and most importantly, seeing them gain that confidence that maybe they thought they didn't have. It just, the environment and the energy in a room during a Zumba class is just, it can't be explained. I love being in the gym environment. The people are relaxed. You could joke around, you can play. The gym is my playground. And it allows me to continuously work on my health and fitness. 
And not only am I working on my health and fitness, I get to help my clients with their goals as well. So it kind of keeps giving. So that's why I decided to get into personal training. Fitness for me means thought. It also means me continually growing. Um, and that's why I like fitness. I can continue to grow. I can have fun while doing it. It's just a good time. It's just work that doesn't even feel like work. It's just a good time. The one thing I wish people did when it comes to fitness is educate themselves. A lot of people, they work out with their ego. Like they'll see an exercise and as soon as they see an exercise, they're trying to do it, trying to lift heavy, like it's trying, they're like trying to show off and they don't really take the necessary steps to educate themselves and get to know their body and why they are doing something, how they could become better at it. So I wish that when it came to fitness, people would take it more seriously and as a science, because exercise is a science that you should become a student of so that one day you can master.